have something in it for everybody whether or not you're just starting to learn the pentatonic scale or whether or not you're a little bit more advanced with it uh, you can have fun with this progression and noodling over top of a progression um, just by yourself without any other accompaniment or anything um, that progression that I was just playing is just a simple B A and E chord and uh, I was just playing with the uh, the E minor pentatonic over top of that and uh, you can have tons of fun and it really kind of stretches the uh, your creative muscles. So very briefly what I was doing was B, B bar chord. If you're not familiar, if you can't do the kink bar that takes a little bit of practice. It took me a while when I was starting. And an open A and an open E. And uh, if you can't do those up there or if you can't do the B there, you can do it up here at the 7th fret as well. Which is actually pretty easy, that way your, your fingerings, uh, your basic chord pattern is staying the same all the time. And uh, just simple 3 chord progression, nothing special. And uh, what we're doing is we're throwing in the, the E minor pentatonic there. And uh, if you remember that sounds like this. So, um, and you'll notice that I, ideally you should be, you should be practicing it with your, your fish, first finger behind, um, would be in kind of the zero position, if you will, on the fretboard. Um, that's how you would normally practice it. But, uh, sometimes I get a bit lazy and I just use, um, you know, I, I move my fingerings. Um, you should be comfortable playing it in all different ways, but if you're playing it open, sometimes it is easier to just, you know, move your fingers up and uh, use your index finger where your third finger would normally be. Um, so it depends on, you know, your style or how you want to do that. But it is good practice if you can to, uh, to learn it properly. Um, but if you see me doing it that way, don't get confused, that's why. So anyways, basically we're just going to kind of jam on that a little bit. And the cool thing about the pentatonic scale is that you can throw in absolutely any note from it anywhere and it's going to sound great um, and which is an awesome place for a beginner to start if you're just starting to learn how to solo or to improvise or to noodle or you want to create some cool little riffs um, what better place to start where, than uh, somewhere where you can't go wrong literally right so um, you see everything I, I was playing in that intro was uh, straight out of the pentatonic scale no little string bends or anything funny Nothing else, just straight. So get used to that scale and then throw it in little parts of it anywhere you want. Um, doesn't matter if you're just starting, you can just do some very simple parts of the scale. simple but they sound cool when you throw it into the into the chord progression um, if you want something a little bit more complicated or a little bit more fun you could try sliding into the position it doesn't matter as long as you're hitting something in that scale it will sound good I guarantee it it's one of the coolest things um, but uh, so play around with that if you really want to get fancy you could even do some string bends and stuff like that but there's no really no real need in this exercise basically we're just kind of getting you more and more familiar with that pentatonic scale showing you some ways that you can um, can use it in your playing right because uh, the cool thing is is that 
pretty soon you'll find yourself as you're becoming more familiar with this. If you're playing along with somebody, all of a sudden you can just throw in one of those little one of those little riffs, and uh, you know it sounds great. And uh, then you can start teaching other people these things too, right? So basically, I'm just going to give you a couple more examples, and then uh, we'll let you have at her. Um, here it goes. Okay, we all need practice, um, but it gives you an idea of what uh, what you can do, what you can play around with there. Um, everything in there was straight out of the, the pentatonic scale. Um, no little tricks and uh, nothing special really, basically. It's just straight out of the pentatonic scale. So um, give that a shot, practice that, and uh, let me know how that goes for you. And uh, we'll see you next time.